podcasting to you today. I'm Mark Maloney. I'm the MD of Professional Beauty um, and talking to you about the upcoming show in October the 17th and 18th. And having talked to suppliers and salon owners and therapists for the last few months, I get a feeling that with so many people are looking forward to connect in person back live events and really looking forward. The suppliers are looking forward to seeing um, people in the flesh at Professional Beauty. And I think many salon owners and, and therapists are looking forward to, to meeting up in person. Um, the show, even with COVID, is a, about four fifths of the size of our largest ever show. So pretty pleased with that. And vast majority of the big brands are there. Elemis, Eve Taylor, Dermalogica, Environ. I'm going to be shot for missing out a few, um, but all the, most of the big Taugo, the skincare brands are, are present. And what's really refreshing, we've got some direct exhibitors from overseas. Um, Biologique Recherche are coming from Paris. Lemmy from Italy, they're not skincare, obviously. And Dariani from Germany, they're coming directly overseas, which is very encouraging. And I forgot, I, I forgot our long-term supporters, Gino, um, and looking forward to catching up with their new UKMD at the show. So on the nail side, big brands there too. Um, nail Harmony, Pure Nails, Nails by Annabel, and then lots on the equipment side. You know, from Linton to 3D Lipo to AES and KC. So a really good show. Um, more spacious this year. We've made the aisles a bit more spacious. Um, if you have any questions, do fire them on and I'll, I'll attempt to ask them, answer them. And particularly on the education side, education is a high polluting word, but people, we've got a great program of seminars really aimed at both the owner and her team. On the business side, a, a lineup that includes consultants and experts, but also a lot of people who actually do run salons and clinics. Sarah Schumann, Justina Rostek, Susan Routledge, Kerry Beavis, Amy Gordon, and I'll, again, I'm, I'll, I'm going to be in trouble for missing out some names, but all of those ladies run their own salons and clinics. And what we've done this year is enabled extra time at the end so that people can catch up and question and, and share their experiences. We've got a lot of feedback from our fo focus groups are saying, look, yeah, we want to share, share our learnings and find out what, how everybody else is coping and how, and how they've changed their businesses for the better, hopefully. Um, we've got digital skills program, how-to stages, nail stages, and with chaired for the first time many years by our old friend Marion Newman, old is a wrong word, our experienced friend Marion Newman at Skincare and Advanced Treatments. So it's, it's quite an event. Um, and for the first time ever, we're taking place alongside Salon International, our sister show for the hair industry. So you'll be able to go, visitor will be able to go and see all that's new in hair, main hair stars, all the, with five or six stages that we've got at the show. So you'll be able to pop, pop along into that. And in fact, with professional beauty and Salon um, National, I think it will be the largest show held this year in the world, certainly in Europe. So quite a responsibility. Um, and if you're thinking, well, do I want to travel into London? Do I want to travel to Excel? Um, we, the team at Excel working with us has, has made a really good, I was at the venue yesterday, and they've got things like fogging, really intense cleaning regimes and everybody's going to be asked to show to get into the excel building either a negative test in the last 48 hours or um double vax so a good environment a good environment um there will be and somebody's just asked um will there be special offers yes um, we're collating those now um working with exhibits do something that you just can't get online so make it worth those that extra extra effort to travel to London. Um, and we've got a huge number of registrations already. I'm really encouraged by that. So, you know, if you have any questions for the team, I'm going, we're probably going to do a live and I think it's about time you meet the team because there's so many people here. We've all been working at the office since you guys have been back in April to really build up the event. Um, um, 
The show, somebody has just asked, when is the show? It is the 17th and 18th um, of October this year at London's XL. So go to professionalbeauty.co.uk and register now. Um, we've also got the Professional Beauty and World Spa Awards of the evening. Um, um, somebody's, uh, somebody's asked, will the seminars are going to be able to watch online? Um, the short answer is no, because it's really a live event and live discussion. And we can, yes, we can broadcast highlights, but really the whole point is sharing knowledge and we are really curating the space so that if I'm in the audience and, and, and you're in the audience, we can share our ideas as well as learn from the speakers. Um, but you can, you can find it all on professionalbeauty.co.uk. Um, I was saying about special offers, I th that, you could, a lot of that can be done online, but I was speaking to one of the large exhibitors and she was saying to me how, actually, I want to give something special that you can only get at the show. And I think quite a few people are doing that and will be coming to you over the next few, few weeks with the details. Um, it, somebody's asked, if you have, if I've just started as a student, are students welcome? Yes, they are. You can again um, register at professionalbeauty.co.uk. Um, you're very welcome to attend on either the Sunday or the Monday. We don't really have a student day anymore. In the past, Monday was the big student day, but re recently, a lot of, with salons working, many salons working seven days a week, we found that um, um, the Monday is becoming much more, or has become much more of a business day. So, uh, do have a look at the program with with the stages. We've got a fantastic spa program if you're, and that's very very our World Spa and Wellness conference. As we've cut the price of entry to that to only a hundred pounds plus the fat for two days, and I think it's less for the one day. Um, on the basis that it is a COVID year and people's budgets will be challenged. But I was speaking to Zoe Wall from Thailand. She says, I want to be there. I'm going to come and speak, even if I have to quarantine. So we've got speakers, believe it or not, coming from Dubai, from Sweden, from all over Europe, as well as, of course, as the UK, to be at the event, this live event. I'm quite encouraged by that, given the effort that one has to do. So with PB Awards at the brewery, um, we're judging again for tomorrow of that. Looking forward to catching up with some salon owners and the great finalists that we've got on the live event. We expect about 400 people um, at the brewery. Um, so it really is, hap it is happening together. So if you haven't registered, professionalbeauty.co.uk, do that now. And we'll catch up um, with the team in the weeks to come and give a little more details snapshots as to what's going on, particularly on the content program. There's a fantastic lot of content and the exhibitors are itching to reach you. Um, somebody's asked is, is if masks are inside. Actually, when we did an event, Aesthetic Medicine, masks we said are optional because everybody has COVID. Um, um, you have to have your COVID pass if it's essentially to get in, i.e. have double vaxxed. Uh, um, we are making masks are optional because people love to see, you know, uh, people talk face to face. So some will be wearing masks. It's, it's totally up to you. Um, looking really forward to seeing you there, professionalbeauty.co.uk. Thanks a lot.